You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrans for Black and White Sports. We're going to talk about Aaron Rodgers, the ongoing Aaron Rodgers saga, and one of my favorite members of the media, a guy that is pretty damn straightforward who used to be with ESPN as part of their radio team and their NBA coverage, who is now with The Ringer, Bill Simmons, The Ringer, was on Bill Simmons' podcast today. They do a lot of joint things, usually uh, surrounding the NBA, but they talked about all kinds of things, including the, the NFL draft. But really and truly, they never got to the draft because Aaron Rodgers came up. Now, as we know, Aaron Rodgers has supposedly come out and said he wants out of Green Bay. He has been pissed off at all of the management members around Green Bay ever since they decided to draft Jordan Love with their first-round pick last year, a quarterback. Now, we got to be fair to Green Bay. Aaron Rodgers was coming off of a couple of years where his performance looks like it was trending down. Period. And they've dealt with the Brett Favre retire, unretire, retire, unretire situation. Now, you could say that influenced Aaron Rodgers here because he's like, fuck. I watched them draft Brett or draft me right in front of Brett, right? So you could say that's had an influence here. He's also dating an actress girlfriend. Evidently, that's very serious now. And as we know, he hosted Jeopardy. Okay, uh, before we get to what Ryan Rosillo said, and Ryan Rosillo is one of my favorite men. Um, he uh, had a radio show with Scott Van Pelt. And then with Danny Cannell, and then with Will Kane before leaving and going to the ringer. And his podcast is my favorite. It's, in my opinion, it's the gold standard of podcasts. Even sorry about that, Bill Simmons, who's got a great podcast, and Bill Simmons really is uh, uh, the Joe Rogan of the sports world. He created the ringer, and that is his baby, and he's got a hell of a lot of talent over there with the guys, a lot of the guys formerly from uh, Grantland. Um, I don't know how many of them are still involved, but you get the point. Anyway, they were talking about Aaron Rodgers, and Rosillo laid into Aaron Rodgers. Laid into Aaron Rodgers. And he acknowledged, uh, we're going to be seeing this more and more in the NFL. We saw it sort of with Antonio Brown forcing his way out of Pittsburgh. Deshaun Watson started down this road before all of his allegation troubles popped up. And now Aaron Rodgers, who conveniently let this come out the day of the draft, word or rumor out there, he did that on purpose. He did it on purpose to get back at the Packers on the anniversary of having drafted Jordan Love. Very quickly, make sure you go over and check out blackandwhitenetwork.com exclusive content from myself and John Matrix joint videos over there like that gem about Tim Scott from a couple of days ago exclusive live streams and if you are a silver member you are eligible to come on a panel and join myself and John Matrix so go over there check that out or if you don't want to become a member, you do have the option to leave a donation of your choice, okay? Help support the channel. We're trying to get away from big tech and become completely independent. That's the only way to do it. Now, they got to Aaron Rodgers. Rosillo did. Him and Bill Simmons are having a discussion. And Rosillo destroyed Aaron Rodgers. Absolutely laid into him. The one thing they talked about was the one thing we've talked about. Aaron Rodgers always brings up talent on that roster. Oh, his his roster's not talented enough. And his roster is most definitely talented enough. Let's be honest. You roll into an NFL season with what? Six? Seven teams? Eight teams tops that are going to compete for a Super Bowl? And Green Bay's one of them. Green Bay is one of them, okay? 
Um, then you have the Jeopardy thing. And they just flat come out and said they didn't think so. And I'm going to tell you exactly what Rosillo said. Ryan Rosillo said, quote, This is so calculated. I get why Rappaport put it out there, Ian Rappaport, NFL media, but it's so fucking stupid. Rappaport used that, and I don't blame Rappaport. He's talking about Jeopardy. Why didn't you do this before free agency or before the draft? You tried to own the draft. You aren't cold calling from Dean Winter 250 days a year. He's talking about the fact that supposedly his relationship with his girlfriend, who's an actress, is weighing into this. Did your girlfriend not know you were an NFL quarterback? Dude, you are not going to fucking host Jeopardy, bro. More guys are going to start doing this. And Rosillo and Bill Simmons, to be honest with you, we're not happy with Aaron Rodgers over this. They think it's bullshit. Everything that we believe is overblown, like the roster, it seems they agree with, okay? Uh, so, Bill Simmons also just came right out and said, Aaron Rodgers, you're, you were great. You look, you were really good at Jeopardy for an NFL quarterback hosting Jeopardy. But he come right out and said, Bill Simmons did, that... Look, Joe Buck's about to host it, and Joe Buck's probably going to be better than you. All right? And most pe people that are used to doing some kind of hosting or broadcasting like that are going to be better at hosting Jeopardy than Aaron Rodgers is. Aaron Rodgers has let it be known he wants to be the permanent host of Jeopardy. And I can tell you right now, even Vegas, okay, the... the <laughs> The people in those large buildings that make all the money from the betting, they're starting to get influenced by this. For example, I believe Point Bet is starting to remove things in regards to the Broncos' Super Bowl chances because a lot of people believe Aaron Rodgers could end up with the Broncos. Okay? And uh, so, and I believe they're also, there, there are betting lines on where Rodgers will end up I uh, still believe it's going to be the Broncos. Supposedly, Green Bay doesn't want a quarterback back, okay? Uh, which which is may be why they turned the Niners down. The Niners uh, threw the number three pick at them and threw Jimmy G at them. And evidently, they think Jordan Love really is something. Um, I still wonder about the Raiders because, look... Let's say they do want a quarterback. You can send them Derek Carr, who played college ball with Devontae Adams. Okay? So, that's, that's, that's an option out there, okay? Or they're buddies, they're friends, they played ball together, something. But there's a relationship between Derek, Derek Carr and Devontae Adams already. All right? Um, Bill Simmons acknowledged, and I agree with him, Aaron Rodgers is probably going to be gone in June or July. Don't see him playing there. And uh, it's a tougher road in the NFL to do what fat-ass James Harden did, right? But uh, we're, we are going to start seeing more and more of this. And it's probably an influence from Tom Brady and the success he just had with Tampa Bay. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Ryan Rosillo, look, Aaron Rodgers, you're not hosting Jeopardy, bro. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.